Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me on this beautiful Florida day. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing this 2020 Audi A4. It has been recently refreshed and updated with an all new exterior styling, some new interior features and technology, and some updates to the powertrain as well. It is a very important part of Audi's lineup and in today's video, we're going to be discussing whether it should be a part of your garage as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Now, I'd love to begin today's review here at the front end of the new Audi A4 because in case you couldn't tell, it has been totally refreshed and it looks stunning in my opinion, but we're gonna go over some of the cool features they've added here. Like I said, all new, we've got some new Audi standard LED headlights, although on this model they have been upgraded to the full LED Audi Matrix system that's got these really sharp daytime running lamps right there at the top and the bottom. It looks very, very cool when lit up. I'll see if I can get a shot of that for you guys. We've also got, obviously, the standard Audi single frame grille up here in the front of the car. It's got kind of a hex pattern in here with the gloss matte trim as well as some chrome outline around it that really marks out the front of this car as an Audi. As soon as you see this front end, it is very clear what brand this car is from. We've also got another intake up here right above it that adds a little bit of a sporty aspect to all this and it helps pull air into the intake to feed the engine and with some cooling features as well. Now I'd like to mention one other vent here in the front of the car. There are a lot of them. This has actually got an upgraded front end design that comes with the 45 model. And it comes with this really cool chrome piece right here that really stands out. It's kind of got a sharp arrow pointing towards the front of the car and that really does a great job of drawing your eyes towards that single frame grille that highlights the front end of this car. But behind that, it's also got some more vents right here. Unfortunately, these are fake. They're completely non-functional. They don't do anything. They're basically acting as an air dam and a styling feature, although there are some sensors sprinkled in here for the parking system. However, there is a little vent on the side here that goes behind this chrome piece and that's gonna allow air to go around the side of the wheel well and really improve the aerodynamics of this car, which is really gonna help with fuel efficiency as well as performance. Now, moving along to the side of the car, we've got some more cool features around here, although not quite as many as the front because it is, at the end of the day, a very clean and sophisticated design. It's not too messy. They really didn't go overboard with it like some other luxury manufacturers do. So we've just got some simple clean cut lines. Now, a couple of highlights I'd like to point out on the side here include these wheels. Now, the base model only has 17 inch basic wheels, but of course it's Audi, they're a luxury brand. They offer a ton of upgrades and unique styles to fit everyone's personalities and taste. So this model features some 19 inch wheel upgrades. Now, another interesting thing to note about the wheel well here is that Audi also offers on the 45 model some sport suspension system. And that's actually going to lower the car by 45 millimeters. It's gonna give it a much more flush look with these wheels and a really cool design overall. Moving back a little bit farther, obviously we've got that chrome S-Line badge, some color matched side mirrors here, as well as these door handles. Now, some models in luxury cars have pop out door handles that will open up automatically when you approach the car with the key. I've always found those a little bit clunky. You know, you gotta make sure they're open. Some of them you have to press and then pull. It's kind of a pain. So Audi has gone for simplicity here in the A4. It's actually similar to some models I've seen from the Porsche Cayman, where it just pulls right up instead of to the side or popping out. And that's just a really easy, simple design. And I don't think a car like this needs anything more than that. And it all ends off right here with another very sharp line that leads around to the back of the car. Now the back of the car is pretty similar to the other models in Audi's lineup. It's actually very similar to the A8 I reviewed just a few months back. It's got standard LED taillights with an available animation style, some chrome trim, and finally, the one thing on this car that I'm really not a big fan of, which is those chrome exhaust tips. They are enormous. They kind of do fit in with the styling of the car, but they're completely fake. Just like those grills on the front of the car, it's all for styling. They're non-functional, and they seem a little bit ridiculously exaggerated, if you ask me. But all around, I am a huge fan of the design of this car, not only on the exterior, but also the interior. So let's unlock it, hop in, and see what we've got going on in there. All right, so we finally come to the interior segment of this A4 review, and I think you'll be surprised to find there are just as many new features and technologies in the inside of the A4 as there are on the outside. 
And I'd like to start off by discussing the soft materials Audi has added to this interior. It's all coated in the finest, softest leather. If you're on the steering wheel, the gear selector, and we've got perforated leather on these beautiful caramel brown seats. Now, all this is contrasted by some nice gray wood grain accent pieces. And a lot of this is optional features. You can clearly switch out the trim for aluminum or a different color wood. I believe the base model has a black leather rather than this gorgeous brown. But all around, it has fantastic materials. It all feels very high quality like an Audi should. Now, some of the actual features they've added into the interior of this car are very similar to features we've seen in other models. Again, if you want to check out some other reviews I've done from their lineup, I'll have a link to a playlist up there. I've reviewed just about everything they have. But as you can see, this car does come with a couple of USB charge ports, a 12 volt power outlet, and actually here under the armrest, we've got a little bit of a storage area for the key fob and a wireless charge port. So all you gotta do when you wanna charge your phone in the A4 is put it right here on this pad. It'll start charging automatically when you turn the car on. So that is a really nice feature to have. A little bit of a change drawer here, some nice large cup holders that can fit most American drinks, although some of the bigger ones might actually bump into the dashboard here where we've got the controls for the air conditioning, which has multiple zones, by the way. There's obviously one or two up here for the front passengers, plus one in the rear for the rear passengers. And speaking of the rear seats, they are pretty spacious in terms of legroom. They've got the same nice, beautiful materials and the same USB charge ports. Unfortunately, headroom is not the best I've seen. It does have a very beautiful sloping roof line out in the back of the car and that really cuts into the headroom in the rear of the car. But moving back here up to the front, I love the way this steering wheel feels. It's very ergonomic. Everything in this car is laid out very easily. It's very intuitive. My only complaint here is that these paddle shifters feel a little cheap and small and they actually stick out into where my hands want to be on the steering wheel. So it's kind of hard to hold the steering wheel and not be touching these paddle shifters. If they could actually shorten these up a little bit, move them further back, that would be, I think, a little bit more comfortable. But behind the steering wheel, we've got a gorgeous Audi virtual cockpit gauge cluster. This is an upgrade from the basic seven inch display screen in the base model, and it features a ton of really cool customizable features. The whole screen is configurable, so you can choose where you want the gauges to be. This car is not actually equipped with the cost extra navigation option, but if it was, you could pull the maps up on the screen right there. Very large, easy to see and use. We've also got this beautiful 10.1 inch infotainment system up there on the dashboard. Now this comes standard with the car. It is Audi's MMI touchscreen infotainment system. We've seen it in their other models. It is configurable and customizable and it allows you to access different features in the car, the ambient lighting that comes standard in this interior, as well as a few different vehicle settings. Speaking of settings, another thing I'd like to point out is that these seats, in addition to being beautiful, are also extremely comfortable. They are very soft and cushiony, and they offer pretty good support all around. Actually, in the standard base model, it comes with eight-way power adjustability, including four-way lumbar support. So you'll be perfectly comfortable no matter what your size is here in the Audi A4. And lastly, I think it is important to discuss the trunk of this car. If you're gonna be using it as a daily driver, you want it to be practical as well. So it comes with 12 cubic feet of cargo space, although you can fold those rear seats down if you don't have any extra passengers, and that'll give you a little bit more room to work with. Now, as I said, we're gonna take this out on a test drive in just a minute, but first, let's hop under the hood and check out some of the cool things we've got going on under there. Now, it is very important to know some of the technical features we're working with here under the hood of the Audi A4 because there are some important options offered by the manufacturer. Now, every A4 comes with the same two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that is paired with a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Now, dual clutch just means that it can basically pre-select gears and then shift ultra fast and seamlessly out on the road. So you're barely even gonna feel it working. But the engine is a different matter because there's actually two different options offered with this four cylinder power plant. In the base A440 model, it comes with 188 horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque, which is good for zero to 60 in just over seven seconds and a combined 30 MPG, which is really impressive for a car this heavy. Like I said, they've got aerodynamics working on the outside of this car to make it very streamlined. and It'll just slip right through the air and give you that important fuel economy. But if you're more interested in performance and power than fuel economy, Audi does offer an upgraded engine, which is actually what we see here in this A4 model. It's called the A4 45, and it features the same engine, just tuned to produce even more horsepower. In fact, there are 248 ponies being pumped out of this engine, as well as 273 pound-feet of torque. Now, this is gonna improve the zero to 60 time down to around 5.6 seconds, which is just as fast as my Yamaha R3 sport bike. 
unfortunately you are going to see a little bit of a loss of fuel economy with that extra power the combined average is just going to be 27 mpg which is a loss of three over the base engine so they've really got something for everyone here with the drivetrain of the audi a4 whether you prefer performance or fuel economy they've got an option for you. But that's enough chatting about the technicals. I know it's not as interesting as some other elements of this car. So let's hop into the driver's seat and see how it actually feels out on the road. Okay, now we've come to my favorite part of the reviews where I finally take the A4 out on a test drive. And like most of Audi's models, it does come with a push button start and a wireless key fob. Now we're gonna start off on a bit of a bumpy road back here. We're actually in kind of a back lot to crown Audi's dealership. And the roads here are not the best, but I am surprised by how well the A4 handles it with that cushy suspension system. I believe it's electronic and adaptive and you can actually mess with some of the settings in that infotainment system. And you can probably tell my camera stand is not the most stable. So there is a bit of bumpingness, but it's not the worst. So the suspension does pretty well on bumpy, slow conditions, but let's go ahead, and take it out onto the main road and see how it does out there. So just cruising along here in some back neighborhood, it's, it's very quiet, it's very comfortable. As I said, these seats are fantastic for whatever body type you have. These speed bumps, I barely even feel them. The powertrain is very quiet and smooth and linear. Visibility is very good. It's actually a very far forward sitting position. Uh, I don't have any issues. I can still see the hoods. So that allows me a little bit of a reference point out here in these tight roads. But we've also got great visibility out on the sides for checking your blind spot. And, out the rear as well. So we've got a bit of a roundabout up here. Let's see how it handles. There is a lot of body roll. There is a lot of body roll. It's a very heavy car, but it does it pretty well. It can hold its line. There was no understeer there. I wasn't pushing it towards its absolute limits, but for everyday use, it's perfectly manageable. All right, pulling up to a stop sign here, we've got an opportunity for some acceleration. Let's see what the upgraded 45 powertrain can do. That's pretty good. Like I said, for a luxury car, 248 horsepower is plenty. So all around, I'm pretty impressed with the way this car drives. It's nothing extraordinary. It doesn't stand out too much as a driving experience, which is really exactly what you would want from a luxury car like this. If you are a huge Audi fan like I am, definitely click on the screen somewhere to check out some of my other reviews I've done. And let me know down in the comment section below which of their models I should review next. Now, before we finish, I would like to extend a special shout out and special thanks to Crown Audi here in Clearwater, Florida for providing me with this pristine A4 to review today. I'll leave a link to their inventory in the description of this video. But that just about finishes up our review. So thank you so much for watching until the end and I'll see you next time.